Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Titan showcase for the new subclass Stasis. And it's going to be pretty, pretty interesting, all things considered. Uh, I'm going to have the trailer for the Titan Behemoth gameplay right now. And then after that, which is honestly, same thing with, with the Warlock. The video is really short, so I'm going to have other trailers just to like sprinkle in. But... Let's look at some of the stuff that the Titans are getting. So I'm going to be showing some pictures on the screen, which I should have done for the Warlock. I just don't know why I didn't do that. But Shiver Strike, the Behemoth summons a Stasis Gauntlet and lunges forward with explosive speed, smashing through anything in their way. Upon reaching their target, they unleash a devastating jab that sends their enemy, their foes carrying careening. Car 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 oh my God, I'm stupid. <laughs> Backwards while slowing nearby enemies ground control the behemoth slams their gauntlet into the ground sending out tremors of powerful stasis energy that leave crystals in their wake and freeze all enemies in the vicinity glacial quake behemoth compel stasis energy to attack to their wait what energy to attach to their body covering themselves in the frozen darkness forming a stasis gauntlet on one hand increasing their damage resistance in the process pretty cool so welcome to this edition in our series of spotlight articles that we're examining stasis via each of the three guardian classes in destiny 2 in our previous edition we featured the warlock shade binder here we're getting to know the titan behemoth titan smash two things that simply go hand in hand there are a few combat situations in destiny 2 that can be solved at or at least made better by a quick titan punch to the face. When Beyond Light is released this November, guardians who prefer the titan class will discover a new subset of stasis powers that allows them to harness the power of darkness, and yes, fisticuffs will be part of it, but it's not the entire story. As we discussed in our previous edition of this series, each stasis subclass will embody a facet of stasis. Warlock shade binders emphasize freezing enemies, and as You'll learn more about next week. The Hunter Revenant is a specialist at slowing the action down. <sighs> People are not going to like that. The Titan Behemoth uses stasis as a means of both creation and destruction. With the Behemoth, we wanted to put an emphasis on the ability to use stasis to create crystals that can alter the battle by changing the very ground beneath your feet. <sighs> control the ground, control the fight as a result. The Behemoth can use their stasis abilities defensively, such as creating crystalline walls to block enemies and gunfire, or offensively by using crystals to freeze enemies. The Titan Behemoth can un unleash a powerful melee attack known as the Shiver Strike. Here the Titan lunges forward, launched by a stasis explosion at their feet to propel them towards an enemy. While in midair, they summon a stasis gauntlet that covers their fist and then slam into their enemy, sending them careening backwards and slowing nearby enemies. The behemoth super glacial quake begins with the titan forming a mighty gauntlet in their fist. They they can then slam the gauntlet into the ground sending out shockwaves that form stasis crystals which freeze enemy nearby enemies. Covered in an armor of stasis crystals the titan temporarily becomes an unstoppable wrecking machine able to jump higher faster and farther while blasting enemies with greatly increased melee attacks if frozen enemies are the bowling pins think of the titan behemoth during their glacial quake super as the bowling ball able to instantly shatter enemies as they sprint or slide through them running amok in a crowd crowd of bad guys and shattering them like a perfect 10 pin strike is a fine strategy but there's a degree of subtlety there too if you want it for example you can cancel out a strike oh, what? You can cancel out a slide into a sub uh, into a massive stasis powered leap, only to cancel that just at the right moment and direct the behemoth downward into a devastating slam. So punch if you must, but know that stasis has plenty more to offer you. So I'm gonna cut the trailers and gameplay just to show you guys the initial tree that the Titans are getting. So you guys can see they have the shield right there. You have their jump, and I'm guessing this is a melee and then a grenade. And again, like the warlock aspects and fragments. Aspects are the 
the minor abilities that you get in a tree, like the buffs that you get or the like the things that you get. It's, it's, yeah. So what is that one? Shattering. Shattering a stasis crystal creates a stasis shard. This shard grants melee energy when picked up by you or your mel your allies. Okay, it's interesting. And then whisper of durance. Slow, f slow from your abilities last longer. For those abilities that linger, their duration will also increase plus ten to strength. That's that's cool actually, huh? So again, the fragments are agnostic, so you can use them on any character. And the aspects are the ones that are strictly to that class, if I remember correctly, which is pretty cool. I'm liking this a lot. And next week, we'll be going into deeper dive into the stasis with our look at the third and final subclass, the Hunter Revenant. How do you make the quickest class even more deadlier by slowing down everything around them? That's how. So Titans, you guys are looking like you guys are getting a lot of stuff that you can do. You can cancel out a bunch of stuff to do even more damage or to cancel again to do another damage that's really cool i'm really excited to see how that would work and honestly again like i said in that bit in the warlock video i just really wish that the other subclasses get these type of rework i mean that it would be a rework at this point i really hope they do that because then can you imagine like i assume that once you click to the to this uh, subclass you're just gonna go right straight to the arm and initially i would love it if like let's say i want to switch to solar for the solar you could see my titan kind of get his hammer out depending on which one it is like if it's bottom tree or middle tree if i go to middle tree you could see his big ass hammer come out like i would really love to see more animations like that it's super subtle it, they don't have to do that but i, I would really appreciate it <laughs> so let me know what you guys think titans let me know how you guys feel about this i think it's pretty cool uh, i'm not gonna go negative at all just because i'm excited to do this with my own titan i like the armor though the armor look be looking pretty fire caliente you know super cool i'm really excited to see the hunters but yeah i most likely put this up today because it literally just came out not too long ago and thank you for all the constant support i really do appreciate it uh if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support and be safe guys you know what's happening in the world be safe and healthy and i will see you guys later